now let's see a C program in order to print LCM of two numbers. LCM stands for least common multiple. Uh, let's take an example. Let the first number is 10, second number is 30. Then we have to find out the multiples of both the numbers. So the multiples of 10 are, that is nothing but 10 multiplication table. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, so on. Likewise, the multiples of 30 are, that is nothing but 30 multiplication table. So 30, 60, 90, 120, so on. Here we have to find out the least common multiple. So if you observe all the numbers, so 30 is the least common multiple. So the LCM of both the numbers are 30. So what are the common multiples? 30, 60, 30, 60, etc. We will get some other numbers. So out of 30 and 60, which is the least number? 30. So LCM of uh, uh, 10 and 30 is 30. So least common multiple means the smallest number, the least number that can be divided by both the numbers. Let's take another example. Let the first number is 6, second number is 9. So first we have to find out the multiples of 6. That is nothing but 6 multiplication table. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, etc. Next 9 multiples. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, etc. If we observe all the multiples, 18 is common in both the numbers. So we can say that 18 is the LCM of 6 and 9. So let us see the logic here. Here first we have to find out the maximum number. If we observe the first example, so the inputs are, the numbers are 10 and 30. N1 is 10, uh, N2 is 30. So here we have to find out the maximum number. If the, uh, if the maximum number, if it is divided by both the numbers, then we can say that LCM is the maximum number. If we take 10 and 30, what is the maximum number? 30 is the maximum number. So 30, 30 will be divided by 30 itself. But here 30 is divided by the first number also. So we can say that the LCM of 10 and 30 is 30. Suppose if the maximum number, that means let's take the second example, 6 and 9. Here what is the maximum number? 9 is the maximum number. But 9 is not divisible by 6. 9 is not divisible by 6. So in that occasion, uh, we have to uh, we have to such as the next numbers also. So let's see the logic here. Max equal to n1 greater than n2. Question mark n1 colon n2. So this is nothing but conditional operator or ternary operator. We know the syntax for the ternary operator. Here we will have three expressions. Expression 1, question mark. Expression 2, colon expression 3 so here expression 1 is n1 greater than n2 expression 2 is n1 expression 3 is n2 if expression 1 is true then expression 2 will be executed suppose if expression 1 is false then expression 3 will be executed okay so if you take the first example 10 greater than 30 condition is false so what will happen is expression 3 will be executed what is expression 3 n2 what is n2 value 30? So that 30 will be assigned to max. Now let's see the logic here. While of 1. So that 1 means the condition is always true. So that 1 specifies it is a infinite while loop. So that condition is always true. Uh, let's see the logic here. Here what is the maximum number? 30 is the maximum number. So 30 is divided by both the numbers. So let's see the first condition max modulo n1 what is max 30 is the maximum number so 30 modulo what is the first number n1 10 so 30 modulo 10 means 0 so that means first condition is true next double end double end means logical end operator so when both the conditions are true then only the body will be true so what is maximum value 30 is the maximum number so 30 modulo what is n2 n2 value is 30 so this condition is also true so both the conditions are true. So logical end operator returns true. So the expression is true. So the body of the if will be executed. LCM is 
percentage d comma max so what what is the maximum number that max contains 30 that max contains 30 next we have break statement so whenever break statement is executed then the control comes out from the loop now we got the lcm now we got the result so now there is no need to compare the remaining numbers so that's why we executed break statement so whenever break statement is executed then the control comes out from the while loop so the control comes out from the while loop so what is the lcm so 30 got printed now let's see the second example uh, max equal to n1 greater than n2 so what is n1 6 6 greater than 9 so condition is false so n2 will be as n2 max so what is n2 9 so out of 6 and 9 9 is the maximum number next while of 1 so the condition is always true now we have to check whether the maximum number can be divided by the first number or not suppose if the maximum number is divided by the first number then we can say that lcm is nothing but maximum number otherwise we have to search the remaining numbers also remaining multiples also so let's see the if condition if max modulo n1 what is max 9 is the maximum number 9 9 modulo what is n1 6 so 9 modulo 6 so the condition is false it is not a 0 it is 3 6 ones are 6 9 minus 6 means 3 so 3 double equal to 0 so condition is false so here one condition is false so there is no need to check the second condition so if body if if that condition is false so the control comes out from the if so max equal to max plus 1 so that means we have to search the next to next next number so what is the next number max plus plus max equal to max plus 1 so the next value is 10 so 10 modulo 6 condition is false next 11 modulo 6 condition is false so there is no need to check the next condition next 12 modulo 6 now max value is 12 so 12 modulo 6 condition is true next what is max 12 modulo what is the second number 9 but the second condition is false so 12 is not divisible by 9 so when one condition is false then what will here when one condition is false then logical end operator returns false so the control comes out from the if so max equal to max plus 1 so every time that if condition is false so every time the max value will be incremented by 1 so next what is the max value so after 12 we have 13 so 13 modulo 6 false next to 14 modulo 6 false 15 modulo 6 false 16 modulo 6 false 17 modulo 6 false next 18 modulo 6 yes the result is 0 so 18 is divisible by 6 18 modulo 9 as yes, 18 is divisible by 9 the result is 0 so both the conditions are true so what will happen uh, uh, if condition is true so the body of if will be executed print of lcm is percentage d comma max so now what is max value 18 so that 18 will be printed and then the control uh, uh, 18 will be printed and after that we have break statement so whenever break statement is executed then the control comes out from the while loop uh, now let's see the program execution so here we have program here we have program hash include std h integer main we have n1 n2 max i n1 n2 are the variables yeah this is our logic yeah let us uh, run the program enter two numbers let the first number is 10 uh, second number is 30 so what is the output what is the output yeah let the first number is 10 let the second number is 30 so what is the output lcm is 30 lcm is 30 next let us run the program for one more time uh, 6 and 9 so what is the lcm 18 is the lcm so this is about finding the lcm between two numbers